This year, Dr. Elizabeth Ward will be receiving a national award for her work in the public service, particularly areas of national security and justice. Find out more next. <music> When you see a smile on a young child carrying a leaf in Hannah Town with a caterpillar on it. When there's no violence, he gets to go to school, he comes home, he goes to his mother, he puts his caterpillar in his jar, glass jar and he sees a butterfly. I'd love to see that happen for all our children so that they feel peace, they know peace and they can achieve their potential. Dr. Ward um, is a relentless public health advocate. She has been one of the founders of the Violence Prevention Alliance, which seeks to provide a central clearinghouse for all the entities working in the area of violence prevention. Her energy, her contribution, her never say never attitude has really um, put the grassroots movement of empowering people first and getting people to own the peace process has put that on the map and put that as a priority for our development goals. Um, Dr. Ward believes in the work that many of the NGOs and civil society organizations are doing many times on their own and she has found ways of looking at what they're doing, measuring um, their successes, helping them to coordinate and, and strengthen their methodologies so that the results can be validated. How I got started on doing this work was from community service at high school, working with Salvation Army on Manning's Hill Road. And then when coming back from university in, in, in Canada, working in the public health field and then going into medical school. I realized that the hospitals were very, being very badly impacted by violence and that violence was a public health problem and we could solve it like how we solved other epidemics of diseases. So we looked at collecting the data to be able to identify where we could do interventions and how could we use that data to guide interventions to reduce the impact of violence on the communities. The involvement with the Violence Prevention Alliance has gone from over the last 15 years. One of the things to support policy that we've done is the National Plan of Action was pulled together by a group of say 45 key stakeholders over years and we got a national plan of action approved by cabinet, went to parliament, got them all to say yes we approve this national plan and we have a framework and now with the Ministry of Education, their youth and children's division, they're running integrated meetings to look at the components of the plan and to see that the work is going forward. I'm really a data doctor, so a lot of my work actually is working with the data, but it's how do we apply that data usefully to make a difference in the lives of people. So I find when you go into communities, what you have to do is to make sure you have your data, know what's the background of this community, and then you actually find out from, listen to the community, hear what their priorities are, and see how you can work with them. And you have to build a relationship, you have to build a trust, you have to have credible partners working with key people, stakeholders in the community. You make sure the work is done in a bipartisan way. 
doctor, I can attest that she is the data doctor. She deals with data and she is a doctor. Uh, you can see the, the outcome of her efforts in the communities. These aren't just meet and greets and hug and kiss and handshake and pats on backs. She actually remembers people's names and we can actually track their names, their experiences uh, 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 to an event that we can map, we can track, we can use their complaints, their, their, their issues and, and problems and relate it to something that we can translate and communicate to the police, to politicians, to corporate sponsors and be able to provide information that incorporates their stories that Dr. Ward collects in the field into an action plan. And this is no longer just an emotional um, appeal for support. This is something backed by data. We, can, we are able and we have simulated outcomes. If you do this, this is what's going to happen. If you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. If you do even more, even more will, 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 will um, be down to you. I feel very honored and privileged to receive this national award. The honor hopefully will give me a platform on which I can share more widely some of this opportunity and get more people engaged and get more people understanding that violence is preventable. If we work together, we can find the solutions.